get it, yeah, that's what we can uncover. And what's going on everybody, and welcome to the Persona 4 Golden Redux playthrough. And what I mean by Redux, it's pretty much me doing a second run through of the game. Anytime I do a Redux playthrough, it's, it's because I'm doing a second playthrough of a game I previously done on this channel. So this is my second run through, and we will be doing the New Game Plus option for this new playthrough. Now I do have a couple of objectives I want to do. I just want to go over a few objectives that I have planned for this whole playthrough. So I do want to let you guys know we will be trying to go for the platinum trophy. So we will try to do everything. So that does include a max social link run. So we gotta get we gotta max out all the social links in the game. Not only that, uh, for the platinum trophy, I think we need to read all the books, which might kind of be hard to do. Cause I don't think you get to have all the books. You gotta rebuy the books again. You don't carry over the same books. So we, so we might have to actually, uh, we have to start a social link up with Ko again just to get some books. I think we might have to do that just to get a couple of books that might be exclusive to Ko and not Daisuke. But I'm not exactly sure on that. I need to look that up. We also need to get Cooking with Gas, which is another trophy, which actually has a. Uh, you need to cook five perfect lunches, which. That shouldn't be too hard. And we're going to also complete the Persona Compendium. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I think that's the only trophies I have left over that I need to get on this run through to get the Platinum Trophy of the game. I also want to do a couple of things like more challenges so we can do more solo runs. I'm going to play the game on very hard still, but I, I want to do more solo runs to make it even just a little bit more challenging because I know the Personas carry over so. I might as well just do more solo and uh, duo challenges rather than have the whole party obliterate the bosses. So I'll be doing some more solo and duo challenges and as well we need to fight the reaper at least six times. We need to fight the reaper six times before we complete the game because I think you got to beat the reaper just to get everybody's ultimate weapon. That's what I've been told. But yeah, that, those are pretty much the objectives I got going for this for this new game plus run through. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start it up. We return once again to the to the rural city known as Inaba. As a reward for having beaten the game, you can carry over certain attributes. Of course, would you like to use this clear data? Of course. Yeah, difficulty. Obviously, very hard. The, my first playthrough, I did a normal game playthrough only because I was unfamiliar with Persona at the time. That's the only reason why I played on normal. I don't think this game is that hard as long as you got the right Personas and the right abilities. The only, re the only way you can make this game hard unless you just go, uh, go in unprepared. That's the only way you can really... That's the only way I can see this game being hard. Definitely gonna try to mack it up with all the ladies. We're gonna, we're gonna pursue a damn relationship with every single girl that we can in this game. You know what? Have they? Did they ever explain to why the damn alcohol was in this damn uh, velvet room? Like, does it signify something? I bet you it does. I'm pretty sure someone would say something. Margaret and Igor be getting drunk all day. Ain't nothing else they do in the velvet room, man. So they just drink. <laughs> They be popping bottles all night, all day. Welcome to the Velvet Room. What's going on, Ego? Remember me from seven months ago? I think we last played this in uh, November. We beat the game in January, but we last started off in November last ah, year. Ah, it seems we have a guest with an intriguing destiny. <laughs> really? Hey, Igor. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. 
This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Hey, Eager, whatever happened to Philemon? It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. It may hmm. be that such a fate awaits you in the near future. I wonder if Igor still talks to Philemon. Now then, why don't you introduce yourself? Alright, so let's go ahead and create our hero's name. And obviously, we're going to use the same name we used last time. I'm not going to use you, Narikami. I like creating my own names. I mean, these games were pretty much made for the player themselves to immerse themselves in the game. Create their own name. So why not create my own name? Hell, you not... I almost called him Yu Nakamura. <laughs> but Mirakami, his name was uh, official after, what, Persona 4 Arena came out? Or excuse me, the animation came out? So this game came out a while back in uh, 2009, right? 2008? It came out in the late 2000s, I believe. Oh, wait, last name should be Tetsuya. Yeah, the official name didn't come out until real later in the years. Until like a couple years later after the game came out. Tetsuya! Da -na 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 -na. Hero Tetsuya's back to kick some ass. Alright, I gotta make sure I spelled it right, because I'm looking at this screen. I can also look at my TV if I want, but I'm looking at my PSP screen right now, or my Vita. So it's T-A-T-S-U-Y-A, -S Hero. Alright, let's do it. Hero Tetsuya is back! Beautiful Velvet Room music. That loops. Hmm, I see. Yes, Igor, you should know me. Now, let's take a look into your future. Shall we? Eager, why you acting like you never seen me before, bro? I already got 128 hours logged into this game. Do you believe in fortune telling? I believe in magic, though, bro. Each reading is no. done with the same cards, yet the result is always different. <laughs> Life itself follows the same principles, doesn't it? <laughs> Life itself, huh? I don't follow those principles anyway, cause I'm the Mac Daddy. The Mac Daddy doesn't follow any rules. Mm. The tower in the upright position represents the immediate future. It seems a terrible catastrophe is imminent. The card indicating the future beyond that is... What is it, Igor? You gotta tell me, even though I already know The moon in the upright position. This card represents hesitation and mystery. Very interesting indeed. Yeah. It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination, and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. In the coming days, you will enter into a contract of some sort, after which you will return here. The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. Oh no! My duty is to provide assistance to our guests to ensure that does not happen. Ah, I have neglected to introduce my assistant to you. I already know her, she's Margaret. This is Margaret. She is a resident of this place, like myself. I know this, Igor, damn it! My name is Margaret. I am here to accompany you through your journey. We shall attend to the details another time. You know what would have been interesting? If they actually read that this was a new game plus and just... and allowed you to skip through all of it, they should have gave you an option. Igor should have said something like, you know, it's... Ego should have been able to read the flag that this was a new game plus, and then it would have, the dialogue should have been completely different. Until then, that's what they should have done. It would have been very interesting if they did that. 
Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Finally. The boobies are wet. <laughs> I'm tired of diets. Enough with going to the gym. Good thing there's something even I can handle. <laughs> Slim down this summer. This commercial still trips me out. <laughs> Oh, that and commercial is still ridiculous as ever. Juicy news. The Mayumi Yamano scandal. I'm sure everyone is <laughs> yeah, first he bags a singer, then he has an affair with a TV announcer on the side. Do chicks really dig politicians? Of Isn't course. Isn't it just stuff like money and connections? When you get down to it, financial and political clout is what matters. Hey, what is that supposed to mean? Well, what do you think? That sounded like Troy Baker there. Uh-oh. Oh, look who it is! The swag tagonist! The swag antagonist is back here at Tsuya. Well, I'm sure that you all know already, but at the end of this month, he will be transferring to another school. Wait, seriously? Oh, oh my gosh, I can't what believe this. Quiet down, guys. I'm not done yet. This school is funded on his swag and good looks. He can't leave. I wonder how long that train ride is for him. We will arrive at the Yasugami Terminal in a few minutes. Passengers headed for Inaba City and Yaso Inaba Station. Please go to the other side of the platform. I still say, I still say the the damn swag antagonist looks a lot like Karasuma. The Enka star Misuzu Hiragi preparing to tour overseas. Taro Namatame, a council secretary in the Inaba region, whom she married just last year, is now under suspicion of having an affair. What's more, his rumored mistress is the well-known TV oh, announcer, Miss should Mayumi we go Yamano. soon? Yes, just about. The question on everyone's minds is how this love triangle will affect... Mayumi Yamano. Oh, that's so cool. They actually show you the victims during these little flashes. I didn't even notice that until now. Look at that. That's Mayumi right there. See? Oh, that's so cool. I didn't even notice that until this. That was her becoming a victim. <laughs> Yaso Inaba. Yaso Inaba. Awesome. We made it to Inaba. We back. The hero is back in Inaba. We about to date all the chicks. Hey, over here. Hey, what's up? Well, you're more handsome in person than in your photo. Welcome to Inaba. I'm Ryotaro Dojima. I'll be looking after you. All right. Let's see. I'm your mother's younger brother, and that about sums it up. It's been a long time, man. It's been about a couple months. I'll say. You've really grown. I still remember when you were in diapers. This here's my daughter. Come on, Nanako. Introduce yourself to your cousin. <laughs> Hello. Shy, cute little Nanako. <laughs> what are you so shy for? <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Well then, let's get going. My car's over there. Oh man. Oh, it's the Mercedes. Hey. Hey, look who it is. You dropped this. You know what? She looks pretty good without the hat. You know what? Thank you. Whatever. All I did was pick it up. Unfriendly looking girl helps you out. I love how they call it unfriendly, and then she friendly helps you out. <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing much, Dojima. Nothing. I was just macking it up. My swag caught the attention of this girl, but it's okay now. Let's go. <laughs> what is that? Mole five? Is that what it says? <laughs> Welcome to Mole! Can you go to the bathroom by yourself? Uh-huh.
It's in the back, to your left. You know which way's left? The side you don't hold your chopsticks in. <laughs> you know which way's left? She's not dumb. <laughs> I know. Jeez. <laughs> oh, that is so hilarious, man. Insulting the intelligence of that girl. Are you taking a trip? No, we just went to pick him up. He just moved here from the big city. A city, huh? Fill up my car while you're at it. Regular's fine. Right away, sir. Good time as any for a smoke. Oh, yes. Are you in high school? Why are you asking me this, you non-playable character? Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? There's so little to do, I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. I'll pretty much be macking Speaking it up which, with all the ladies. We're actually looking for part-time help right now. Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. Hmm. Ding. Oh, I should get back to work. Nanako is looking at you. Are you okay? Did you get car sick? You don't look too good. I'm all good, Nanako. Good? No need to worry about me. What's wrong? You okay? <laughs> it's nothing. I just felt lightheaded. That's understandable. It must have been a long trip for you. Why not take a little walk? Get some fresh air. Just let me know when you're ready to go. All right, then. Finally, we get to walk around. I'll wait here. Why don't you take a walk and get some fresh air? We'll do that, though, Jima. God damn, it's been a long time since I heard this music. Oh, man, I love the music. Damn, the next bus isn't going to come for a while. If you miss one bus, you're pretty screwed. If only I had a motorbike. I could go anywhere I wanted, anytime I wanted. I wonder how much they cost. Oh, wait, we forgot to talk to uh, this girl. This girl that will be very important later in the game. Have we met before? Ah, did she say that last time? Have we met before? Did she say that in the uh, the original playthrough? Maybe she, maybe she noticed this is a new game plus, and maybe that carried. Nah, I doubt it. I met you just now. The girl is thinking to herself. Oh, nice. We can save the game here if we want to. Now we're gonna record for a little bit more. Male students, do you know where my snack went? I had it in the fridge, but it's gone. Oh, I ate it just now. I thought it was leftovers. What? No, it wasn't leftovers. I was making sure to save it for later. Oh, so really? Sorry about that. Well, I'm going to work. See ya. <laughs> what? I was really looking forward to eating it. Oh man. And you know it's if you know what's if you look closely and you played this game before, these characters are actually these are the Konishis that you meet later in the game. We'll figure that out. Or you'll pretty much meet them later in the game. They'll get an introduction later. It's inconvenient and convenient at the same time. There's a delicate balance. Blah, 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 who cares? Dojima is ready for you. You shouldn't wander too far off. Alright. So we get to take a look at all this stuff. So we're done taking a look at all this. Let's go ahead and uh, go home with the Dojimas. Uh, are you okay? Nanako seems worried about you. How are you feeling? Ready to get back in the car? I'm ready. Alright, let's hit the road. During events, you can show the conversation along by pressing the select button. And skip events with the start button. I know this. No need to tell me again. Dun, 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 dun. You arrived at the Dojima residence. For the next year, this place will be your home. Again. <laughs> Once again, we are back at the Dojima's residence. Evening time. Alright, let's have a toast. Is that Bud Rice? That's Bud Weiser he's drinking. Who is the Sobe? So, your mom and dad are busy as always. They're working overseas, was it? Yup, yup. 
I know it's only for a year, but getting stuck in a place like this because of your parents? It's rough being a kid. Well, it's just me and Nanako here, so it'll be nice having someone like you around. All right. So long as you're here, you're part of the family. So make yourself at home. Thank you for your kindness, sir. <laughs> Come on. There's no need to be so formal. <laughs> Look, you're making Nanako all tense. <laughs> well, anyway. Let's eat. Ton of Max. Sitting down, Max and relaxing oh, old food. Who's calling at this hour? Oh. Uh. Dojima speaking. Mm-hmm. Well, he just got a very yeah. important phone call. I see. So where is it? Uh-huh. All right, I'm on my way. Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. <laughs> Sorry, but I gotta go take care of some business. Go ahead and eat without. Wait, he said to skip the booze, didn't he? What did he open? Didn't he open himself up a beer right there? I can't really tell if that's a beer or just a, a soda pop. I don't know how late I'll be. Nanako, you help him out, okay? Okay. It could either be soda or a beer, because I know beer makes that fizzing noise when you do open up a beer. Dun, 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 Nanako, it's raining out. What did you do with the laundry? I already brought it in. All right. Well, I'm off. I love that casual talk they added to the game. For this week. Next, let's take a look at the hourly breakdown of tomorrow's weather. With storm clouds moving in from the west, expect rain throughout the day tomorrow in most areas. Let's eat. All right, let's chow down. You find yourself alone with Nanako. You might want to strike up a conversation. Hey, Nanako, where does your dad hide the bourbon? Because I'm pretty thirsty right now. <laughs> it must be tough. What did we say last time? I want to avoid saying the same stuff we did last time. I want to make as many different choices as we can possible. Let's say, uh, what does your dad do? I think we didn't say that before. He investigates stuff, like crime scenes. My dad's a detective. Oh, snap! I guess I shouldn't sell weed anymore. <laughs> and now for the local news. City Council Secretary Taro Namatame is under fire for an alleged relationship with a female reporter. His wife, Enka Ballad sensation Misuzu Haragi, revealed to this station that she will likely pursue damages. In response, iTelevision damages. has decided to cancel all of announcer Mayumi Yamano's televised appearances. I don't, I don't really, I don't see how that really damaged her at all. Until allegations of an affair with Mr. Namatame are resolved, she'll remain off the air and out of the public eye. This is boring. I agree. Change the channel. At Juness, every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day is great at your Juness. Every day is great at your Juness. Oh man, we getting it. We getting it, Nanika. We getting it. Aren't you going to eat? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> She forced me to eat there. You can save the game by using the calendar in the living room. Ah, oh, sweet. Uh, um, Nanako is at a loss. You should leave her alone. I should leave her be. Alright, I'm about to check out the fridge. I hope y'all got some sobe. Y'all better got some so There's no sobe in here. It's just fried rice. <sighs> no sobe to wash it down with. I specifically asked you guys to stock up on Sobe before I got here, and you didn't do it? Strike number one. Strike number one, guys. <laughs> Alright. So we are back on level one. 128 hours. <laughs> I think I'll have like maybe uh, 200 before the end of this playthrough. Alright. 
Damage taken great, damage given small, experience one less, money one less, oh my goodness, retries in dungeon don't use, retries in battles, fuck that, we retrying in battle, if I lose, I lose, but I'm not fucking retrying the whole dungeon, just because I died in a battle, nope, we ain't having that, that's one thing I will change, you don't know how annoying that is, if I have the option to change that, I'ma change that, but everything else, me taking damage, Okay, everything is fine. The less experience, okay. Less money, don't really need it. Retries in battles, nah. We'll just restart the whole battle. But retries in dungeons, of course. Damn straight. So how the hell do we accept it? Oh, we go to okay. I'm just, if I die, man, I want to be able to restart from that floor. It makes no sense to restart the whole dungeon again just because I died. This is the room you're borrowing from Dojima. Alright, let's see. Oh, look at that! My trophy's here! There's a trophy from the Plague Midnight Trivia Miracle Quiz. Nice! I got that from uh, beating them damn uh, Midnight Quiz that you get in the extras. I'm surprised that trophy carried over. I thought I would have to do it again. I guess not. That's cool. We got a study desk. We got boxes to unpack. But man, I, ain't, I, ain't, I don't feel like doing that today. I'm about to go to sleep, man. Let's go to sleep. Too tired, man. You'll be living in the town for one year starting today. You wonder if everything will be all right. School starts tomorrow. You should hurry to bed. What the? What is this? What's going on? What the hell is this? Aha! Oh, now this is cool. I remember those tiles. Those tiles come in play later in the game. Look at the floor you're standing on right now. If you remember where you're standing on right now, you'll remember later where you're at. That's cool. I love that. That's pretty cool that they did that. I didn't even realize it until now. That is so cool. But to prevent spoilers, I won't say anything else. All right. So we get, we just gotta walk down the dim, the red brick road right here, and just go all the way to the end until we run into a damn boss fight. I almost said the yellow brick road, but whatever. <laughs> Same thing, the red brick road. So let's keep going. It's a long ass path. <laughs> if it's truth you desire, come and find me. You hear the voice from up ahead. You send someone ahead. Will you continue? Obviously. You got no other choice. So you are the one pursuing me. Hmm. Try all you like. Attack! It seems that you can see a little despite the fog. Smack him! Yeah. Uh. I see indeed, this is very interesting information. Do we have any skills? We have Zeo! You will not be able to catch me so easily. If what you seek is truth, then your search will be even harder. Be well during fog! Surroundings are covered in fog. What is this? I can't hit them! Everyone sees what they want to, and the fog only deepens. <laughs> we will meet again at a place other than here. I look forward to it. Hobbit, 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 Hobbit.